everyone, this is Ritucha. Today, I and my team members, Gaurav, Vedant and Ashada from GH Raisman Institute of Business Management, Jalga, are here to present our project. Here, putting light on our project of PIDT, Problem Identification Design Thinking, on the topic of autopiloted growth. Before getting on the topic of project, what is design thinking? At its simplest, it's a, it's a way of using a designer toolkit uh, to find new ideas and discover innovative ways to solve problems. It's an human centric. By putting yourself in your customer's shoe like a designer role, you observe problems from inside out rather than outside in, allowing you to not only answer questions but find the right question to answer. Here, there are five steps of problem solving. First, emphasize. Second, define. Third, ideate. Fourth, prototype. And the last one is fifth, test. What is drone? As we are familiar with this word drone, we, the students of first year engineering, had tried to put new concept of drone in front of me. An autopiloted drone. As its name suggests autopilot, that means the drone will be handled by itself. As we see drones using RF remote, but we thought something different by using GPS. The question might be arise in your mind, how this idea came to your mind, isn't it? The concept we thought will be helped to Indian Army, such as in emergency situations like injury. The med medical facilities will be delivered as quickly where man cannot go. That means it will reduce the manual interaction. It takes off like a helicopter and it flies like an aircraft which will be used by Indian Army. This concept will also reduce the risk factor of soldiers as they can keep eye on enemies from a far distance. About this project, normally we see drones controlled by using RF remote. In this autopilot, we use a GPS model to control it automatic by giving proper direction by it. But in our project, we have to go about things in another way using an Arduino UN. The main objective of this project is to collect data and 2D video information from a particular known area. In order to get the information, we must to assign the value of length and width that the drone can travel using Arduino programming. As its name suggests, autopilot. Autopilot means that the drone will be handled by itself while controlling action of the drone. It will be handled by flight controller that has built sensors to balance the drone. And Arduino Uno is the brain of the system which gives the proper signal to flight controller to maintain stability and sustain operation. A GPS receiver on the center hub tells the drone where it currently is communicating with server GPS satellite. This information is used in conjunction with the user selected destination to get a path of travel. To simplify the problem, many drones fly and altitude free of obstacles. As the hexacopter for this project is meant to show sensors for detecting nearby objects are necessary and thus are included. The design of the drone is broke down into two large subcategories of hardware and software. The hardware involves assembling the drone and testing it to verify that its component were working properly once connected together. The software portion of the project is to create the code necessary for the hexacopter to control itself during flight using the Raspberry Pi PIB+. The hardware subsection consists of assembling the individual components that were necessary for flight and navigation as well as using the Navio Plus for testing which will be explained in later detail later. Lift is achieved using 6 Cobra C2213 brushless DC motors attached to a rigid flip sport carbon composite frame. Lipo batteries are among the most common battery type used for a drone because they offer the advantage of high energy density in relation to their size and weight other as high voltage per cell. So they can power up drone on the board system with a longer cell than other or rechargeable they also discharge more slowly than other types. Putting together each component of the drone took uh, several steps and carefully placing makes sure that everything has been placed correctly. 
The large and heavy parts are clipped at the close to the center so that it reduces the stability of the drone. Placing carefully in a semester to make a way of a testing and software purchasing of the project. The specification of project is drone that is capable for moving one coordinate to another by its own. Therefore, the complete success of project would have been demonstrated by by giving the drone a rough way of 50 to 100 feet to fly without any help. Here, man challenges to use the Navio Plus to control motors through program. Raspberry Pi B Plus employing a closed loop controller. PID, Proportional Integral Derivation, is an acronym for three control methods. Uh, inertial measurement unit supplied necessary rotational or orientational data to the Raspberry Pi B Plus for PID controller. Propellers for the multimotor drone, such as hexacopter, octocopter, quadcopter propellers, they are arranged in the pairs. They swing in clockwise direction and anti-clockwise direction to create a balance. The propellers we used in the drone, which is 32.2 inch and its weight is 200 grams. A 360 degree camera is being used to capture the live data and weather monitoring sensor. Basic functions like fixed height, 1P takeoff and landing and some other additional features with cameras like emergency stop, voice operator, gravitational indication, drone fishing, drone carrying, drone dropping, drone delivery of payload has been never easy with the revolution of drone hook. It transports maximum weight of payload and release at the specific target area. You can carry 5 kg of payloads. Fight to win with knockout because there is no run up in war. With this, a small token of love and gratitude from our team to Indian Army. A great salute to Indian Army.